YouTube, YouTube, let me tell y'all something. I want this to be a movie. I want this to be a, you know what, no. I need this to be a movie. I need this book to be a movie. I need somebody to make a live action or animated adaptation of Deceased. Cause what the actual hell? Let me tell y'all something. I am completely obsessed with the zombie horror franchise. I recently just got into the Walking Dead franchise and realized how sleep I've been on this shit. I immediately went to go out and I bought all the comics. But then I read Deceased. And I'm, I'm sitting here wondering, why didn't nobody tell me about this? So I was at Vintage Stock with my sister on my birthday. Y'all remember that video? She had an attitude the whole time cause she hates Marvel in DC. I had already had a ton of books, a huge amount of books. We were on our way, we were on our way out the door. I was on my way to the checkout line. On my way, I see this. All I saw was Batman looking like a zombie and I had picked it up, never heard of it. Wasn't planned on getting it. I mean, hell, even my mushroom was planned. This was planned. This was not planned. I, I cannot believe how good this shit is. More, more importantly, I can't believe it took me a week to read it. You know, when you're doing something or when you're waiting on something, I was waiting on a video to export and it took like maybe an hour. While I was waiting, I just picked this up just, just to kind of peruse through it. You know what I'm saying? Once I started, I could not put this down. I, I got comfortable, damn the video. <laughs> it's like, I, I need to know everything about this. Deceased or deceased is a Elseworld story where the earth gets infected by a techno organic virus turning people into zombies. In the story, we begin with the Justice League. They had just taken down Darkseid. He leaves the Earth, and then as the team gathers themselves, they're done. They just had a big battle. Darkseid is gone, so they, they collect themselves. And then they realize that Cyborg is missing. Black Lightning is like, well, last I saw him, he was fighting some parademons in Metropolis, and he could still be. And then Batman cuts him off. He's like, no, nah, he ain't in Metropolis. He ain't even on Earth. Everybody's like, wait, how do you know that? And Batman is like, I have a location monitor running in one of his subroutines. And see, everybody got a problem with that. Everybody got a problem. Basically, Batman has a tracker on Cyborg. Cyborg never knew about it, because y'all know Batman with the contingency plans. Superman over here got his arms crossed like, did Vic know you were tracking him? Head ass. Got Flash running all over the damn place. Talking about, you secretly hacked our friend? Are you tracking any of us? How could you? Blah, 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 blah. Batman has to explain to these grown ass adults that Cyborg is a walking weapon with apocalyptic technology. Technology that comes from the most evil intergalactic warlord they have ever faced. He should not be allowed to just roam freely across the universe. That would be terribly irresponsible. But it turns out that Cyborg was on Apocalypse. See, Darkseid didn't invade to conquer the Earth. He came to get Cyborg. Desaad is running some sort of experiment on Cyborg. They're, they're searching for the anti-life equation. If you know anything about Darkseid, that's his whole thing. Thanos has his Infinity Gauntlet. He searches for Infinity Stones. Darkseid wants the anti-life equation. And it turns out that part of it, half the equation, is dormant within Cyborg. So they're trying to extract it out of them. Darkseid has half of the equation and they're gonna try to get the other half out of Victor. And in order to do this, Darkseid summons the Black Racer. It's a whole thing. They eventually torture him and they get it out of him. However, something goes wrong with the anti-life equation and it drives Darkseid completely mad. This dude is scratching, clawing his forehead, trying to get something out of his head. He goes absolutely insane. He jumps out of the throne room into a fiery pit of apocalypse and it just obliterates the entire planet. What the actual hell? This new anti-life equation is infected and it infected Darkseid and again, it lies dormant within Cyborg. So Cyborg comes back to Earth and it's inside him. Now you gotta remember, Cyborg is basically living technology. He's connected to everything. So the virus is inside of him. And anything that is connected to him, which he's connected to everything, becomes infected. 
basically what I'm saying is everybody who has a screen becomes infected. Batman is investigating because this is worldwide. People, it's happening fast too because again, everybody has a screen. If you have a phone screen, it's, it's from the internet. If, you, if you're on the internet, you will be infected. Batman realizes 600 million worldwide have become infected, 600 million. So he tries to activate an electromagnetic pulse which will shut down the power in Wayne Mansion, but then it's too late. Nightwing has become infected. Nightwing and Robin were both infected. Holy shit. Alfred is the only one who's safe. So Batman trying to save Alfred, I guess, I guess he was holding back. They got him. They got Batman. They got Batman. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it when I saw this. They got, look at Nightwing. They got him. This ain't no fake out. They got Batman. They got Aquaman. They were on a ship. They got Aquaman. The world was doomed. Look at this shit, man. This is crazy. They got the Joker, even Green Lantern. I could not believe this. I couldn't believe what I was reading. I'm not gonna go through the entire series because it's a lot and it's so, so good. The artwork is fantastic. This felt like a true modern DC book. You know, it, it, it felt so good. Look at Harley Quinn in her Suicide Squad type getup. You got the Birds of Prey in this, Catwoman, Huntress. This was everything I love about DC and it was everything I love about a zombified apocalyptic invasion. It was so good. And the characters that got infected, you, you will not see this coming. You won't see this coming. The things that happen in this book, you won't be able to predict it. It's so emotional. It's so sad and honestly it's DC stories like this that would crush the MCU. I cannot believe they didn't make this shit into a movie at, at least an animated movie a year after the book came out like Warner Brothers. What the hell? Like bro WB uh, at this point they allergic to money. They allergic to money because like we we get in crisis on infinite earths when this exists. I'm sorry, but like, honestly, who cares about Crisis on Infinite Earths? Like, like, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say it. I know a lot of people got to be thinking it. Who cares about the Crisis on Infinite Earths when you got this here? Me personally, I would much rather watch this. If they made a live action movie adaptation of this book set within an already established universe, like how Infinity War was with the MCU and executed properly, it would destroy the MCU. This story would be so much better than Infinity War because it's so much more darker and emotional. I have never cried while reading a comic book, but I'll be real with y'all. The scene with Clark saying his final goodbyes to his family after he realized he got infected, that made me tear up just a little bit. Clark, Superman had been at the front lines this entire series, saving people, having faith, being that symbol of hope he's always been. And just when you thought he'd make it out, he got infected. Like no one is safe in this. Nobody is ever safe in this. Plot, plot does not exist in this story. It has been a while since I've read a comic book and felt this way about it. I mean, I, I, you know what Negan said uh, to that, I forgot that girl, but Negan said something to somebody in The Walking Dead. You got me wrapped around your little finger, you know that? And it's not a man woman thing. I mean, if you had a dick, I would still have these feelings. That's how I feel about this. That's literally how I feel about this. this reading this was like watching a movie, literally. It, it's, it's been a while since I really felt completely immersed in a book. But this, this really did it for me. Like this is so good. Just looking at the pictures is making me want to reread it again. Lex Luthor was in this shit working with Superman. Poison Ivy took over Gotham. Like I couldn't believe it. They even had Killer Croc in this shit. Killer Croc got infected. This, this, this comic series really reminds me of a movie I had watched last year called Cell with Samuel L. Jackson and John Cusack. In that movie, people were becoming zombies and infected from a techno organic virus from their phones. If you, if you be on your phone, you will get infected. Stories like that are so interesting when they attack the internet like that because the amount of time people spend on their phones looking at screens, you would think that all humans on this planet share a hive mind. 
We're always looking down at our screen. We're always scrolling, always watching videos, always on social media. And in this book, that's exactly how they become infected. And they literally share a hive mind. All the zombies on earth all share one idea, one goal, and that is just to kill. Kill all living life form, just kill. They're all having the same mindset. They were all on social media. They were all on the internet. All 600 million people were all on their phone doing something, watching a video on TikTok, on Facebook, and they all became infected and they all share one, one mind. It's just interesting to me when they, when, they, when they make stories like that. It makes you think, you know, because it's like the internet is such a big role in so many people's life, way more than 600 million. And it's like, man, if something like that were to ever happen, if a techno organic virus ever did break out, I know in real life, it would be a lot more than 600 million that would be infected. I know damn sure I would definitely be infected. I know I would be. It, it, it's so crazy, but this book, man, D Cease, this is so good. And my friend Stu told me that there is like another part to this. Like this is just, this is just the first, first, series there's a whole nother second series and i definitely want to get into that because the way this ends th this is kind of sad i'm not i'm not gonna spoil nothing but it's a sad ending and oh my god the concept art the concept art at the end so good y'all so freaking good look at dark side that is so good this book is goaded man i've never read an elseworld non-canon story that was so good i almost wish it was canon guys let me know what you thought of dc's this was amazing if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you've never read dc's before definitely highly recommend it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10. if you like zombies if you like horror if you like the justice league if you like dc get this get this book i wish somebody had told me about this when this first came out get this book i've been asleep on this shit and i'm and i'm definitely getting part two thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bro john constantine is in this shit too john ah oh, i forgot man completely dude punched the shit out of dr fate